back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the Nancy Late Show. Well, our guest tonight is a media legend in the Kansas City area. He's got a new podcast now out. We're going to talk to him about it. Please welcome to the show, Mr. Randy Miller. Yeah. Woo. Hey, hello. Good, good, good. Welcome, Randy. Good show. Thanks for being in. Have a seat. Now, I had a fun time researching you, Randy. Oh, my goodness. You have not been to Crowley Furniture, have you? No. I mean, this couch. Oh, really? It's luxurious. Well, oh, only, only oh, the best oh. for you, Randy. Oh, this is fantastic. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we want you the best, but <laughs> um, we got a long, long time here, so you can remain comfortable. Good. <laughs> That's great. I, like I said, I have fun it's time. It's inflatable. Reading. Oh, yes. Most things in my life is inflatable. <laughs> Um, that's a great watch, by the way. Holy Thank cats. <laughs> that's just because I can't see. Wow. I mean, you, had, you can see this from about a mile and a half that's away. That's Kanye's watch. I know. We can let land planes on this thing. <laughs> right. Oh, so I get distracted very easily here. Right? <laughs> Shiny things. <laughs> Shiny yeah. things. A watch. But uh, you know, I was looking through the list of people that you've interviewed. Yeah. It's impressive. Like Johnny Cochran was on that list? Johnny Cochran was on the list. Most of the people that I interview die immediately, which is odd. It's like that um, movie, The Ring. It, it, it really is, yeah. Yes. So I'm kind of glad you're interviewing me and it's not the other way around. <laughs> oh, uh, that's sweet. No, we, yeah. we, <laughs> no we've had, uh, had some great interviews. In fact, uh, I had a great interview on the podcast at uh, randymillerradio.com the other day. Tech Nine was on the program. Oh, wow. Oh. And uh, Tech Nine, I'd never met uh, Tech or Nine, and he comes in, and I'm expecting his full entourage, you know, the whole thing. I hope. He, he, you know, he comes in, He's uh, he just had breakfast, uh, he's in sweatpants, and he was fantastic. Uh, just the nicest guy in the world, and I actually talked him into making a, a prank phone call. Uh, we used to do what I call Randy Grams on, uh, right. on the radio, so we did a Tech 9 Gram to uh, Mix 93 radio, because um, he was going to be on their big concert, Red, White, and Boom, a couple of days later. Right. So... He, we called up the promotion director at Mix 93, and he pretended to be his own manager and demanded an ice sculpture. For, of what? Uh, of him. Oh, uh, nice. For the concert. For the concert. Yeah. So, In two days. Yeah, was. right, right. So they went a little bit nuts on that, and he had, he had a great time. It was good. He, he, he affected some kind of a, like a hillbilly voice on his own, and so he's more like Hick Nine. <laughs> Then, I like how his uh, manager would be a hillbilly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly, right. right yeah. Uh, but he totally got into it. He, he was great. Now, the, one of the worst interviews we ever had was a, a comedian uh, from Saturday Night Live who came in and immediately said, I'm not going to be funny, so don't expect me to. Be on the radio or beforehand? Uh, oh, oh, no, on the radio. As soon okay. as we turned the mic that's on. That's going to make you likable. Yeah. I said, well, that's great. I said, because you don't do that on Saturday Night Live either. So, ah, uh, oh, well, I mean, well, yeah, how, where do you go from there? That's true. You know, that's true. He's coming on your radio show. He's going to say that. He's got a And I don't want to, I don't, right? don't want to mention any, but I said, listen, Mr. Sudeikis, if you. <laughs> <laughs> that's too obvious. Let's just kind of say Jason S. Yeah, okay, yes, that's, that's too obvious. That's what I meant. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now, uh, talking about the new podcast, what's some of the, the bits that you guys do on this then to get people excited here? You know, we do a lot of fun. We do, a, we do just about everything I couldn't do on regular radio. Mm -hmm. That's what's great about a podcast because I've been fired for so many different reasons on the radio. And I, I haven't been fired from the podcast yet. Well, it's your own podcast, Randy. Uh, that's still iffy. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> your top manager. Yeah, we did. Uh, we, we made a great, uh, we like to go through Craigslist. And, oh, uh, so do we. Misconnections. Oh, man. There, oh, there was a great so job it. opening in Columbia, Missouri to sell cannabis. And so I called the guy up, and he is exactly as you might expect him to be. I had to remind him of his name three times. Three times. His own name. His own name. And, uh, and it was a conversation that lasted about 30 minutes. <laughs> and we really never got to the job description. I was going to say, so you didn't get was, the job. No, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, how about... How much do you have on you? Yeah. Uh, Enough. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it was, uh, it was a great conversation. And we've had some great interviews. People come out there. Um, we, we do it from a studio in Blue Springs, Missouri. And people show up and they take their time. I mean, we, we do hour long interviews, you know, with right. folks. And it's great. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun to do. And like I say, you can do just about anything on a podcast because nothing's regulated. They don't, they don't know what the rules should be yet. So you can kind of have some fun. And, so it's and, an exciting time to be the front line. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a lot of fun. Well, we're going to talk more about this, like a quick break, right back with Randy Miller right after this. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the show. It's time for the word of the week, and the word is Caddy Wampus. So I like how I have to push the button to make it. Caddy Wampus. <laughs> yeah. That is the word Acting. of the week. <laughs> Acting. Yeah. Right? Caddy Wampus word. Caddy Wampus. Good it's mime good. work. Um, yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> we uh, recently had Miss USA on our show, and she was on your show as well. Miss Miss Kansas. Oh, Miss Kansas. Yeah, Miss Kansas is on there, and she talked about Donald Trump, and we tried to get her to. Uh, curse at him in Spanish, and uh, she did a little bit, but she really? she was kind of holding the line. Yeah, when she was on our yeah. show, it was kind of funny. We had to do a skit with us, and she she couldn't say the word damn. She couldn't. She couldn't. Well, maybe she she she, she, she might have said it in Spanish. She, she said it in pointed Spanish? at the word, and she goes, "I can't say that word even." Really? Even without anything on? Uh, she yeah. she didn't have anything on? No. Well, not the clothes wise. Oh 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 oh! Like, like, uh, like your an interview audio. was better than oh, better no. than ours wise. <laughs> I read that you offered free Bob Seger tickets that wasn't true. What are you reading? I'm reading. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> I'm in the doldrums here yeah, on the internet. Right. So you, did, you offered free Bob Seger tickets, which was untrue, and you needed a police escort home? Well, and it was the first time I'd been fired in Kansas City. Uh, I was working for a radio station, ZZ99. And um, uh, Bob Seger hadn't toured at that time in about, uh, about 10 years. And I just thought it'd be fun on April Fool's Day to say he was coming to town. So we talked to a record store, and back when they had record stores, and uh, they were going to go along with the joke. And we, you know, we thought maybe a few people would show up. Well, hundreds of people. I had no idea that there were that many Seeger fans <laughs> oh, and, that were that angry. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and so they they showed up, and uh, they got a, a piece of paper that said you've been had by Randy Miller, but you do get a dollar off for Seeger album. So well, that's pretty good. You're fine, right? Yeah. Well, they did. It's a they, lose win-win. They came down to the radio station. They found the radio station, and they came down to the station. And the program director, everybody's in on the joke. The program director hides under the desk. Uh, we we had to call. I just remember one guy with one tooth looking at me, going, "You don't mess with Seeger." <laughs> and, uh, and so that's when they they immediately fired me, okay. and I was taken home by uh, a, a squad car. So is that the craziest thing you've been fired for? Uh, yeah, it's just one. You know, it's, it's that was alphabetical. That was the first. <laughs> um, we did it. We did a thing in uh, Leewood, Kansas, one time, which I thought would be kind of fun if they have a sense of humor there, but apparently not. We had two guys that we sent out in orange jumpsuits, and they were handcuffed together, six thirty in the morning. And uh, they went uh, house to house, uh, knocking on doors and very politely asking, may we borrow a hacksaw? Hmm? Very politely. Politely, yeah. Uh, so people started calling the, the police. And uh, the next thing I know, I get a call on the radio from one of our guys that says, I'm face down on State Line Road with a, uh, a cop's rifle behind my head. Tell him you sent us out here. And I said, I, connection's bad. Uh, can't hear anything. <laughs> so, so we, had, so that was that was just another. Uh, there have been, they, yeah, there have been a, a few. I was supposed those. to ask you this question too. Do you have a favorite lawsuit fired against you? You know that that was one. That was, that, that was, that a, good was one. That was a that was a lawsuit. You know, we used to uh, we used to deliver free pizza uh, if you answer the door completely naked, and so and people uh, they were so happy to do it because it's a free pizza it's piping hot and we don't see you you're on the radio so we right. sent a guy out if you were wearing socks we took the pizza away i mean you had to be completely naked and uh and one woman that answered uh, the door uh was not naked and um she didn't get the pizza and she filed a lawsuit against us for not giving her the pizza but <laughs> But she didn't give us the pizza, if you know what I mean. Right. So I, I, there are rules to this. I, I, I mean, you know, there's there's some regulations that have to be followed in radio, apparently, <laughs> <laughs> and that was uh, that was one of them. We used to do a contest called "Paint Your Butt Like an Easter Egg" around Easter, and who doesn't? Uh, exa exa exactly. Yeah. Uh, and that was another. Uh, yeah. So apparently, you can sue for anything. It's, 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 <laughs> I mean, you really can. Yeah. I, Have you ever been sued for anything, Adam Long? No, nothing yet. Yeah. yeah. Have you no, ever yeah. sued me? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like, you're I'd the like guy. to throw about five or six out a day. Yeah. You know. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So you never know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it could be coming. It yeah. Could be it's true. Yeah. You could settle out of court. Just give me a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got a couple of things. No, go away. <laughs> um, you did, used to do a bit where you order flowers and have them say something ridiculous on the card. 
Yeah, you know, that's the other thing that's, that's kind of fun to do because when you order flowers, they have to uh, take down anything you say right. and then repeat it back to you on the radio or you, they don't know they're on the radio. And so we used to have some very long messages, very involved uh, with uh, a lot of uh, uh, consequential uh, words in them. And they, and they would read these back, you know. So, uh, um, uh, dear Susan, uh, I understand that uh, we're not together anymore. And your best friend Marge has been a fantastic person in bed, but yet uh, these flowers should make you feel better uh, in, as long as uh, uh, you agree to be with me. And, so, and, and so it would go, but they, but they would have to, and, and in, the, all back and to in you, the middle of it, it's serious tone. Yeah. They don't want to feel like they're judging what you're saying. Right. And in the middle of it, uh, uh, we'd always use the word rhinoceros, and they'd have to spell that correctly. So there were. Uh, <laughs> they got a free pizza. <laughs> they, were, they get a free pizza, yes. But it's fun because it's kind of like they're very serious, right? And then after you, they're very kitty cattywampus. You know what? They are very, very cattywampus. Yes. Yes. Very awkward. Yes. Cattywampus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a quick break. Come back more with Randy Miller and being cattywampus. <laughs> Woo! Right after this. Yeah! Yeah! Welcome back. Really quickly, man, tell me about the first lady. Okay, the first lady, probably the most famous thing that ever happened. I rescued a woman's purse from a parking lot at a shopping center. I was shopping with my daughter. She left it on top of her car, so I'm yelling at her. Well, she gives me the finger. She thinks, so I got her purse. I was going to turn it in. I took it to the radio, and I, I asked for the person to call me just apologize. So she calls up, and she says, you stole my purse. And I said, no, I didn't steal your purse. I'm going to reveal one content from your purse every single day till I get the apology. Went on for about three weeks, and for some reason, her purse ended up on a Q104 billboard. Uh, <laughs> so I, I don't know exactly what happened with that, but uh, she's out there somewhere, and I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> We're not ready. We got your back. Thank you. Check out RandyMillerRadio.com. Yeah. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Woo! Yeah! Woo!